fucking more of them! Open! Open, damn it! Come on! Don't do this to me! Come on! Let's go! Well, that was fun. In a fucking terrible, sick, not at all fun way. Vinny needed Mona as much as I did. We'll try to find Mona Sachs. She can disarm the bomb. Are you crazy? She's just as bad as the Russian! She's part of the same fucking crew! You're delusional. I was desperate enough to look for Mona at the funhouse. I got a bad feeling about this. Max, dearest of all my friends, drop your gun or the bomb goes. I had a bomb ticking in my head. No amount of painkillers would disable it. Vlad and his men left after they were done with Vinny and me. I don't know how Mona came to be there. I can only speculate. It's clear that she was after Vlad. Max. She must have gotten there after he had left. Otherwise, he'd have been dead and she wouldn't have come after me.
she came to get me through the fire. Vlad had terminated Vinny's tragicomic existence with the push of a button. Ouch. Poor guy. Poor bastard. Max. She found me where Vlad had left me, lying in a pool of Max. blood on her floor. Come on. Time to wake up. Death is inevitable. Our fear of it makes us play safe. Blocks out emotion. It's a losing game. Without passion, you're already dead. It's all a matter of perspective. Tied to time and place. Love and friendship. Life and death. Vlad had led me to Mona's apartment at gunpoint. Just missed you at Vodka and at Vinny's. 
third time is the charm. We can't get him up here. The head is too big to fit through the door. Let Vinny stay in the funhouse. That's where he belongs. I'll get to him in a moment. Ironic, isn't it? What is? How you fell for the killer working for the man who got your family killed. Love is blind. Everything is subjective. Choices, answers, good and evil. Woden sent the Project Valhalla file to the DA to put a scare on him. Your family paid the price. Mona is like me, just in the opposite camp, killing the society members allied with me. How funny is that? I hate to do this, but you know how you are. You would never let it go. Einstein was right. Time is relative to the observer. When you're looking down the barrel of a gun, time slows down. Your whole life flashes by, heartbreak and scars. Stay with it, and you can live a lifetime in that split second. Besides, a gentleman always avenges the insults done to his lady. You did kill Wintersome. In the dream, I was an invisible ghost hovering outside my body. Detective Payne, the boss is already here. He's waiting for you inside. I hope you haven't had your lunch yet. This, this one's, one's yours, bad. Payne. You're the only one who could solve the it. A bullet in the head. The killer's looking for an answer, but he's looking for it in the wrong place. He should be looking for it in his own head. The suspect is ready for a lineup. You should hurry, Payne, or you'll miss him. Oh! His heart broke. Damn it, we're losing him. Give him hope! Six milligrams! Charge! Clear! Clear! Nothing! Go again! 300! 300! Charge! Clear! Clear! Nothing! Doctor! Again, once more! 350! Charge! Clear! Clear! Still nothing! Lost him. Time of death? 2.30 a.m. NYPD, drop the gun. What are you gonna do about it, pal? We're all guilty of something if you look hard enough. Thank you. 